What's up guys, Graham here. We're wanting to go over a lot of different things that's coming up in the game of Rift because a lot was revealed just recently. So if you guys have not been tuning into the Tryon Worlds live streams that they do every Friday, you miss out on a lot of the announcements and stuff. So I figured I would start doing videos to review a lot of the things that's coming up if they reveal very good stuff because sometimes they just play the game and answer questions so you don't really learn too much and uh but some of them they reveal lots of information so we're going to go over those things because this week was really good um it was mainly based around the wardrobe stuff because discordia the player has been uh doing wardrobe wednesdays every week on her live stream channel which is twitch.tv forward slash discordia and every wednesday she holds a contest to pick a winner of the best wardrobes in the game and people get extremely creative and it's just unbelievable how good some of these outfits are you just if you're not a creative person like I am not a creative person for the most part it just blows you away how good these outfits are and stuff and then whenever they win on the channel every week they get lots of prizes so it's it's like a win-win well this uh, past month uh, the month of February Tron contacted her and supported her big time on her giveaways well her contest should I say and they supported it with lots of prizes and everything. And the top five winners of the month of February would get their outfits permanently put into the game so all players can actually access them. And during the live stream, they showed off all the outfits and let everybody vote on them and all that good stuff. And man, it was some cool outfits to say the least. And you'll be seeing them in games just shortly. And all the people that won the top five won tons of prizes from Tron. So it was so cool. So make sure that you tune in to uh, Wardrobe Wednesday every Wednesday on twitch.tv forward slash Discordia. And you get to vote on the outfits and all that good stuff. So yeah, go support the Rift community with that. All right, so... In light of that, we also had more news on the wardrobe side in that they are putting the outfits of Alspeth and also Asha in the game. So uh, everybody that has always been seeing the outfit that Alspeth wears and thinking, man, that would be so cool to have on my character, you are finally going to get it. So that was met with lots of cheer and applause in the chat to say the least it was very cool the next thing we're going to talk about is the additional events that they're doing alongside the carnival of ascended because they do that every year but this is the five-year anniversary rift so they're wanting to do additional events and this is a huge one to say the least okay basically every week while you're doing the same stuff that you always do in the game such as dungeons war fronts instant adventures all that stuff chronicles yada 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 you will accumulate anniversary tickets and these tickets will rank you on a leadership board depending how many you have so if you're in the top 100 of the tickets uh accumulated during a particular week you will win a credit package and if you're at the top like uh, the very top person you will win huge rewards to say the least uh i mean the rewards range from anything from uh five years of patron pass to uh unlocking every single mount that has been in lock boxes over the course of rift's history uh another of the rewards is uh, a full set of t2 gear uh let's see black tier loyalty I mean, all kinds of stuff. If you look at my loyalty, uh, let's see here. I'm I'm not even at black. And, and I've been playing for years. And mind you, I've been doing giveaways and everything to where I've been spending wrecks on all these giveaways. So it took a long time of spending all this wrecks and credits, giving out prizes every single week for two years. And I think I'm on red I believe this is considered red uh, I don't know if it's after you reach this I believe I believe as soon as you reach uh, the red orb at the end that puts you into the black tier so 
you would be ahead of where I'm even at after all these years of spending credits. So that is a huge, huge prize to say the least. Uh, let's see all the things that Black Tear gets actually. Uh, Black Tear gets uh, a title, a, ba a 36 slot bag. Uh, increases your experience, notoriety, and token currency gain from all sources by 15%. Um, let's see, uh, summon portable auctioneer. Uh, increases the amount of items that can be placed in auction by 50. And also you get a uh, portrait. So, and that includes all of the other ones beforehand. If you look at this one, you get the nightmare mount and all that stuff. I mean, there's just tons and tons of stuff that you get with the loyalty. So if you win that black tier loyalty, that is a huge, huge prize. Um, and not, I mean, how huge is it to also get every lockbox mount ever in the history of Rift? So these are big, big prizes. I mean, the credit packages are uh, ranked depending on how you place. So if you're the number one person, you get a really big credit package. Uh, but and then it scales down all the way down to the top 100. Um, but also they're doing it to where they are going to do random 1,000 uh, gifts as well. So if you place in the top 1,000 of uh, the tickets accumulated, they will be doing a random drawing to determine winners on that. It might be multiple prizes on that. I'm not too sure. I believe they're going to do multiple uh, drawings every single week. And I mean, some of the prizes on that as well is like, you know, black tier loyalty, uh, five years of patron pass, all that stuff. So, man, this is like so much stuff that they're giving away. To go over a little bit more of how these uh, tickets are accumulated, I mean, in Warfronts, uh, Instant Ventures, all that stuff, you're going to accumulate these tickets, but they're going to have it to where every week a certain activity is favored over the others. So if you do uh, like Instant Ventures just over and over and over, you'll accumulate tickets, but for that particular week, they might have it to where Dungeons is what is favored. So if you do dungeons, you get increased tickets over what you would normally get doing a dungeon. And, uh, and then at the end of the week, they will determine the winner. And then the next week, it might be something like Warfronts. So if you do Warfronts and win them, you will get more tickets uh, than you would have the previous week winning Warfronts then. So it's going to make it to where a lot of people are pouring into certain activities to try to get more tickets. To get in this top 1,000 at least and possibly even the top 100. So if it's uh, like Warfronts this week, you're going to see a lot more people in Warfronts and it's going to be flooded pretty much. So lots of new players, lots of people that normally wouldn't PvP are going to be in it. Uh, also, if you're wanting to knock out your instant adventure weekly, well, the week that they're going to be favoring it or else even every other week because people are going to be trying to accumulate points no matter what. There's going to be a lot more people in these activities altogether. So it's going to burst the activity and we're going to see who comes out on top with these particular prizes. And uh, lots of people are going to get five years of patron pass. Let's just say that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, my name is Grim and I'll see you next time.